Indonesia is actually the second largest contributor of marine plastic behind China. And it's not uncommon, uh, especially during the rainy season when the rivers are being flushed, that you'll go for a dive and you will suddenly find yourself enveloped in schools of plastic which dwarf any fish schools you've ever seen. You know, I've been diving all over the world for, you know, 40 years now, and mm -hmm. I've seen ocean conditions get worse and worse on a number of different dimensions, and clearly, you know, the, the waste that gets thrown into the ocean and that you see when you're out diving is, is you know, one of the most heartbreaking issues. We just signed a deal with Plastic Bank here in Bali. Uh, we're going to collect 800 metric tons of ocean plastic, plastic that's either on the beaches or in the waters or riverways, put that through a recycling facility and then reincorporate that back into some of our products. One of the things I would say is that I, I really do think that the stand that SC Johnson is taking in not just dealing with one part of the cycle uh, of, of ocean plastic, but trying to deal with it in a more comprehensive fashion, all the way from collecting it to sorting it and then setting up a recycling center to actually deal with it and then incorporating it into your products. Mm -hmm. That's a sea change. You are fundamentally trying to look at every piece of that, of that cycle. And I, I personally feel really passionate about it. Um, you know, we're a family company and we have a very long-term view, and you know, I want my daughter to grow up in a world which is just as beautiful as the one that uh, we've been able to grow up in. And uh, and business has to be, you know, a part of the solution to this problem.